In today's video, I am going to explain what is Hamiltonian path, Hamiltonian circuit and Hamiltonian graph. And this topic is from graph theory. See here, Sir William Hamilton, an Irish mathematician, introduced the problems of finding a circuit in which all the vertices of the graph appears exactly once. In this video, I am going to discuss about the vertices of the graph. What is Hamiltonian path? First of all, a path that contains all the vertices of G, of graph G, where the endpoints may be distinct. Whereas in the Eulerian path, I taught about the edges of the graph. So we have to cross each and every edge exactly once. Here in the Hamiltonian path, we have to cross all the vertices of the graph G exactly once. See, the endpoints may be distinct. And let me give you an example. The path is nothing but, see here in this graph, this is uh, graph G. So how many vertices are there? There are five vertices, V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So I have to cross all these five uh, vertices exactly once. So without any repetition. So now this is V1, this is the edge V1 and this is edge V2. So this is V2 and see this is V3. So this is V3. This is V4. See this is V4 and this one is V5. See here how many vertices are there? Five vertices are there and I have to cross each and every vertex at least for one time. So these are the Vertices. Dots are nothing but the vertices. Now I am going to cross this one. So this is from V1 to V2, V2 to V3 and next V3 to V5 and next V5 to V4. So I have crossed all the vertices exactly once and no, no repetition. So this is nothing but the path. Path. Hamiltonian path. And next one coming to this. So they are how many vertices? So only vertices you have to think about. So they are eight vertices here. So this is V1. See here. This is V1 and this is uh, V2. And the next one, this is V3. This is V4. This is V4. And next one, V4. And next one, this is V5. V6, so this one is V6 and this is V7 and this one is V8. So have you observed? They are 8 vertices. So dots, they are 8 dots here, vertices. And now I have to cross each and every vertex at least for one time. There shouldn't be any repetition. So from V1 to V8 I'm going and next V4. A to V5, a next one V4, a next V3, a next V6, V7. So I have covered all the vertices. See here, V1 to V8, V5, V4, V3, V6, V7 and V2. And this is nothing but the Hamiltonian path. So I have to cover all the vertices, only vertices I am talking about. Whereas in the Eulerian graph, I am crossing each and every edge. Here I am crossing each and every vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the vertices I have crossed only for one time. And next coming to this, what will be the Hamiltonian path? So they are total 5 vertices. See this is V1. So this one is V1 and this one is V2 and this one is V3. See here, this is V3 and next one, this is V4. So this one is V4 and this one is V5. So how many different, different vertices are there? Five distinct vertices are there. And now I have to cross each and every vertex only for one time. Only for one time. See here, I am crossing V1 to V4 first. And next one, V4 to V3. And next I am going to, I am covering this one. And next I am covering this one, V3. So, so this is the path I have chosen to cover each and every vertex only for one time. That is V1 to V4, V4 to V3, V3 to V5 and again to V2. 
so each and every vertex is covered only for one time and this is called as hamiltonian path see clear so they are 1 2 3 4 5 five vertices five vertices and i have crossed each and every vertex exactly for once and here there are eight vertices and i have crossed each and every vertex only for once and the path i have taken is nothing but the hamiltonian path and next one they are five vertices here so i have crossed each and every vertex only for one time and this is nothing but the hamiltonian path and next coming to hamiltonian graph so what will be the hamiltonian mm, circuit first of all if i talk about hamiltonian circuit and so it is also very very simple a circuit in a graph g is called a hamiltonian circuit if it contains each vertex in g exactly once except for the starting and the ending vertices that appears twice see here starting and ending vertex vertices appears twice but the remaining vertices will be different different distinct so this is nothing but the circuit so which is nothing but we have to start from one vertex and we have to cross all the vertices all the vertices and again we have to reach the same vertex see here i'll, I'll show you the walk sequence so this is v1 to v2 so this is v1 to v2 and next this is v3 and this is v4 and this is v5 and again to v1 so the starting and the endings vertex appear appears twice see here v1 and v1 appears twice whereas the remaining vertices there shouldn't be any repetition only for one time we have to cross so here if you see they are how many vertices are there one two three four five so i am writing v1 this is v1 this is uh, v2 and next one this is v3 this is v3 and next this one is uh, v4 so this is v4 and this one is uh, v5 see here they are total five vertices and now i have to cross each and every vertex exactly once so if i consider this as a home so this is nothing but the circuit so path is different circuit is different so from wherever we have started so we have to end up with that and we have to cover the remaining all the vertices so v1 to v2 and next v2 to v3 and next v3 to v4 and next v4 to v5 and again i am coming back so this is the path i have taken so this is the circuit this is the closed circuit so this is nothing but hamiltonian circuit so this is nothing but hamiltonian circuit and the next one here here is an another graph so we have one two three four five and six so we have six vertices here so how many vertices are there this is v1 this is v2 see here this is uh, v2 and this is v3 this is v3 and this is uh, v4 this is v5 v5 and next one this is v6 clear they are six distinct vertices so i have to cross each and every vertex at least for one time and for the hamiltonian circuit so if i consider this as a home vertex if i consider this as a home vertex i have to start from here i have to cross all this one all the remaining vertices and again i have to reach to the same vertex so this is nothing but so this is nothing but the hamiltonian circuit so this is nothing but hc hamiltonian circuit there should be a closed path so i have to cover each and every vertex so from starting and the ending vertex that appears twice and the next one they are eight vertices here see here clear they are how many vertices are there eight vertices are there i'll show you so this is v1 see here this is v1 this is v2 this is v2 this is v3 so the last one this is v3 this is v4 so this is v4 this is v5 so this is v5 this is v6 vertex 6 this is vertex 7 
V7 and this one is V8 vertex. So how many vertices are there? They are 8 vertices. So I have to cross each and every vertex. So total 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. So I have to cross each and every vertex exactly once and have to reach the same position here. So if I consider this as an home vertex. So I am starting from here. I am covering each and every vertex. See here I am I am joining each and every vertex and reaching to the same vertex V1. See here, so this is the path I have taken. I have crossed each and every vertex exactly once and I have reached it to the same position. So this is nothing but the Hamiltonian circuit. Circuit is nothing but this closed uh, figure which crosses all the vertices exactly once and it has to reach it to the same vertex. Starting and ending vertex should be same. So uh, are you clear in this? So V1, so I have started from V1, I have crossed all the vertices and reached it to the same vertex. And here also V1, so this is the closed circuit. And the next one, so this is the home vertex, so I have crossed all the vertices and reached it to the same vertex. And this is nothing but the Hamiltonian circuit. And it will be very, very easy if you understand these two uh, concepts. And this is nothing but the Hamiltonian graph. And a graph is called a Hamiltonian graph if it contains Hamiltonian path. First one, it should sa satisfy Hamiltonian path and it should contain Hamiltonian circuit. What is Hamiltonian path? Hamiltonian path is nothing but it has to cover each and every vertex only for once. And there shouldn't be any repetition. Whereas in the Hamiltonian circuit, it should be a closed cycle. So starting and the ending vertex should be same. It can appear for twice and the rest of the vertices should cover at once only for once and next one so this is the graph and let us check whether this is an Hamiltonian Hamiltonian graph or not first it should uh, have a Hamiltonian path what is Hamiltonian path it should cover each and every vertex for once that is v1 v4 v3 v5 and v2 so it is covering all the vertices for once and it should maintain. So what it should maintain from the starting and the ending vertex should be same. After covering after covering all the vertices, the starting and the ending vertex should be same. See here, let us check this one. So they are, how many uh, vertices are there? So they are five vertices. So this is V1. So this is V1. This is uh, V2. And this one is V3. So see, see here, this one is V3, this one is uh, V4 and this one is V5. See here, they are five different different vertices, talking about vertices. So I have to take Hamiltonian path as well as Hamiltonian graph. So they are five vertices here. Now I have to cross each and every vertex at least once. So I am considering this as a home vertex. So, first uh, Hamiltonian circuit. So, I'll start here like that. So, this is V1 to V3. So, this is the path I have taken. And next one V4. And next one this is V3. So, I've taken V2. And next V2 to next this one. This path. And after that, what I can do this one. And see here, next time coming to V1. So this is the closed circuit. So I have covered V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. And this is nothing but the Hamiltonian circuit. So in this video, I have covered all the vertices at once. So this is V1, V3, V4, V2, V5. So each and every vertex is covered for once and starting and ending vertex. So this is the walk sequence. So this is V1 to next V3, next V4, next V2 and next V5 and again V1. So this is nothing but Hamiltonian graph. So here Hamiltonian path is satisfied and Hamiltonian circuit. So this is the closed circuit and therefore this is Hamiltonian graph. And the next one coming to this figure. So, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, they are total 5 vertices. So, I have to write all the vertices. So, this is V1. This is V2. So, this is V2. 
this is v3 and next one this is v4 so this is v4 and this is v5 so in order to be uh, a hamiltonian graph i have to cross each and every vertex exactly once and the next one i have to maintain this hamiltonian circuit so first if i consider this as an um, home home vertex so i can cross like this so this is the path which covers each and every vertex exactly once and again back to v1 so starting from v1 and ending to v1 so i have covered each and every vertex that is nothing but uh, hamiltonian path and see for hamiltonian circuit so from whichever the vertex i'm starting i'm just closing with that same vertex and this is nothing but the hamiltonian so hamiltonian path is satisfied and hamiltonian circuit is satisfied therefore this is a hamiltonian graph and next one if you consider this one this graph so how many uh, vertices are there there are total five vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so this is v1 vertex this is v2 vertex this is v3 so this is v3 vertex this is v4 vertex and this one is v5 so this one is v5 so now i have to cross each and every vertex exactly once and i have to written back to the same vertex so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i am taking this path so after this i am going like this i am ending with this so this is the path i am taking so uh, the path here the walk sequence is v1 to v2 next to v3 this is v4 this is v5 and this is v1 so this is a Hamiltonian path and this is Hamiltonian circuit and therefore this is Hamiltonian graph. So this is the way we have to conclude that it is a Hamiltonian graph. So how many vertices are there in this? So there are five vertices here. So first one is V1. So here this is V1. This one is V2 and this one is V3. So this one is V3. This one is V4. Vertex V4 and this one is V5. So total there are five vertices. So we have to cross each and every vertex exactly for one time. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exactly for one time. And from starting and ending vertex should be same. So if I take this as a home vertex. So I am starting from here. Going like this. Covering this one. This one. And again coming like this. So this is the path I have taken. And this is nothing but the Hamiltonian path. Hamiltonian path is satisfied. And this is from the starting vertex and ending vertex is the same. So this is nothing but the Hamiltonian circuit. If both the points satisfied, we say that the given graph is a Hamiltonian graph. And this is how we have to consider the Hamiltonian graph. Hope you all guys understand. So path is different, circuit is different and graph. See here. So this is nothing but the path. So it, it need not be a closed figure. So it has to cover each and every vertex exactly once. See here in this also it covered all the vertices exactly once. And this is the path where all the vertices are covered. And this is nothing but the path. Whereas in the circuit it should be a closed cycle. Closed circuit. The starting and the ending vertex should be same. So this is the path I have taken. So starting and the ending vertex is same. So this is nothing but the Hamiltonian circuit. So in this figure so this is the figure where all the vertices are covered so all the edges even though we leave some of the edges no problem so we have to think about the vertices in the Hamiltonian graph and we have to think about the edges in the Eulerian graph and the next one so here there are eight vertices so I have to cover up all the eight vertices exactly once and if we satisfy the Hamiltonian path as well as Hamiltonian graph we see that the given graph is a Hamiltonian graph so this is the graph where all the vertices are covered. So it is maintaining uh, a Hamiltonian circuit. And so we are saying it is a Hamiltonian 
graph and here this is the hamiltonian graph so so this is the hamiltonian graph where in the path each and every vertex is covered only for once and it is maintaining a hamiltonian circuit and here also hamiltonian path is uh, satisfied and hamiltonian circuit is satisfied and so it is called an hamiltonian graph and this is the hamiltonian circuit and so it is called a hamiltonian graph and these are the few examples and hope you all got a clarity on this and if you don't understand please go through this video for one more time and definitely you can understand and if you really like you know what to do please subscribe and pass it on to your friends